Now, uh, you were elected in 2015. Yep. You defeated Ed. Uh, you've always been a big Eurosceptic. You were a big supporter of Boris Johnson's premiership. Yes. What is your assessment of how your party is doing in a post-Boris world? It just—it was amazing how people took it so seriously. I'm calling this interview in the week of International Women's Day. Yeah. Do you think, with the benefit of hindsight, those things, those beauty pageants, beauty contests, women being judged uh, on their beauty, I mean, they're a relic of the past now, aren't they? Rubbish. Um, and I thought... You know, sometimes people take themselves too seriously. And I think we're, we're very, very lucky in this country. Yes, there is misogyny around. Very talented, gosh. You'd be good on a karaoke night. Um, no. <laughs> Maybe we can do it together, Gloria. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't think I'd put you through that. <laughs> um, you are a mum. You'd be great. <laughs> I've loved it. Ditto, thank you. <laughs> thank you. You hear that at the moment. Mm -hmm. You're, you're feeling much more like yourself. And um, in 2015, mm. you're not going to stand at the next no. election. No. Well, I wouldn't want people to... Yeah, and I can testify that there is sunshine away from those mm. green benches, as you say. It's a wonderful privilege. Nobody else can appreciate just how wonderful it is, but there are limits for <laughs> everyone. Um, right, let's talk a little bit about politics because mm -hmm. you caused controversy mm. when you stood up in the House of Commons. This was when Boris Johnson was coming under pressure um, for to, to stand down, really, um, as, as leader of the Conservative Party. And you made the allegation that there was blackmail of a nature of Boris Johnson, that if they stepped out of line, they could lose constituency funding. Mm -hmm. I know you've met with the police about those allegations at their invitation. You told me before we came out. Where are we with that? Well, that never... William Rag, the reason I wanted to do this interview, the reason why I have been pinging those messages to you for so many months is because I wanted to show that people, leading people in public life, are humans just like the rest of us with the same strains and stresses that many of the rest of the nation endure. Thank you very much indeed for your time. Thank you for having me.